Awesome. I was digging that, man. Yeah. <laughs> they really cleaned it up there. Dude, this it just has such a really good feeling old school mm -hmm. style beat to it. Great day to play. Welcome on in to the channel. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Whether well, it's your first time here, you were joining us. Thank you for being with us today. You were loved, appreciated, always welcome here on this channel, and you are enough. Today we are doing Lee. I, I don't know if it's Young or Yoon. I'm probably saying it wrong. Lee Young G. And this is not sorry. Um, the video that we originally got requested didn't have lyrics. So we found a lyric video. I know that they're not always perfect, but it still gives us an idea. It gives mm -hmm. us a better idea of what's happening here. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow along with our journey, check out our live stream Saturdays, noon central time on YouTube and Twitch, and check out our music on Spotify, Apple, and Amazon. But without further ado, let's go. Okay. okay. Some cabaret style or like 50s. Kind of like jazzy. Yeah, jazzy. Okay. I'm on a hip hop con turkey. Honja so man dote den go kate da de pox kate di ko bolle chukje. Chishima jumbo goke. Sarangan we go to. Wouldn't get a ship get on a plastic gate. Look you in the mirror, you're the human being too. Shop up kin to gachi, da gun on jib boon. Hey, you want chicken gachin, bin gang tong tong ori, hiri jori gulo on se sang a week to jib a notch. Sai pako mind park with chama cheng and nunchi do. Daddy dirty mic was hard to be back on the jump is wrong. Very like, is that was almost like experimental jazz there for a second, right? The beats were kind of odd and just. This reminds me of like, like, uh, not Erica Badu, well, kind of, or like, um, God, she had a, she had the biggest hair. I don't remember her name. <laughs> she had the biggest hair. Oh God! Someone put it in the comments. You know what I'm talking about. But like, just the how it's dry, dry, dry. Yeah, yeah. Like everything's so dry. Like the piano, there's no reverb. There's no reverb on the drums. No reverb or anything on her vocal. It's yeah. like they mm. want you to feel like you are in a very small, intimate room. It feel, and that's what like everything about it. Everything about the backing just feels like you're like in a smoky room somewhere. Yeah, kind of just like an old jazz bar jazz mm -hmm. club one lights on piano sitting there just she's sitting back on a chair just with one of those microphones with the yeah, things yeah, yeah in old it. school mics and stuff i i a sequiny dress it's like it's that sound is a very padded small room sound yeah. like those, those old jazz clubs what yeah. they used to do is they would um they would line the walls with like the, how we have it mm -hmm. but every wall would be like that yeah, yeah. So it would be really clear, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't be very big. Yeah. So everything sounded really intimate. Mm -hmm. um, and they stopped doing that now because it doesn't make sense to any anything that's trying to sound big. But yeah. back then, especially that when the they didn't, a lot of, because there was a lot of African-American people, mm -hmm. they weren't really allowed to be in that many, many people around mm -hmm. all at once. Yeah. So it had to be quiet so the people outside didn't hear too. Yeah. So like it made that sound, and this is that same kind of sound where it's just tiny very, and tight. Very, very tight and intimate, yeah. I very, can feel very her. Cool. In, your, yeah. in your headphone, like she's right yeah. there. Yeah. I don't care, I don't care about what people say. Nah, I don't give a f about what you say. Uh oh sorry, money so get on you now, only me, myself, and I. Don't worry, sure, hook is hot, I do hold you here, so I'm the only one. Me, I'm there. Macy Gray. Yes, thank you. When the when the when the chorus came in. Yes. Then I was like, Macy oh, Gray. There it is, Macy Gray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exact because she had the big hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. God, thank yep, you. Yep, yep, yep. 
웃으니까 내가 참 바보 같나 봐 나에 대해서 잘하지도 못하면서 Always killing my vibe 뭐라도 되는 줄 아나 봐 Feeling like you becoming somebody 하지만 그건 너의 착각 난 물어볼 게 있어 사대질 자격 어딨어 날 가르쳐 들려 하지마 You ain't my teacher I'll school you 넌 왈가 왈부 할짓 없이 그냥 말만 많고 Peach one show me featuring 제발 좀 그만 나와 노래도 못하면서 singing 하는 복면가와 자극적이지 않아 재미없어 he need drama 괜찮아 난 모든 일에 내 진심을 담아 But look it 내 무기 두기를 다들 채 눈치 안 보기 헛수해버린 루즈 물어봐 who is Dude, you hear that? Dude, that was so that was cool. that the his the flow in that. Dude, uh, the syllables that he was using was very like Eminem esque slash uh, Scribbin Blam Slubin. The guy that you like that makes those plays. Um, Manuel Miranda. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you have a different name for him every time. I, I, hey, you have three names. Get rid of two. Um, <laughs> don't need them. Um, but it was that the uh, those syllables, like those middle syllables, and it was that was yeah, really yeah. really cool. Go, ahead, it, you got some. I, I was just gonna say that like the flow and the vocals have to be really really good because the back is the backing is so simple in so mm -hmm. much of this song. You know what? It, and so like it, it, like you really need that vocal character because of how dry they are. Yeah. Like this isn't it's not something that's being added. Like just when, I, I remember when the song first started and I heard, first heard her voice, it was kind of one of those things of like, oh, how's this gonna go? But then like that character really lent to the song, and then when he came, in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, it, both of them just have such really cool character in their voice. It's it's you know you could hear. So th mm -hmm. this this is something that was a surprise to me when we first started getting into K-pop, is the attitude. Of their vocals mm -hmm. like the type of attitude that you would hear here from someone who had a, a hard knock life yeah, yeah you know what i mean uh most of hip-hop you know what i mean mm -hmm. that, that kind of it's it's it sounds a little boastful even when you're not kind of yeah, yeah. thing and like when you hear it in this because everything's so clean you're like oh like he's about that life because you can yeah. hear it in his vocal yeah, and yeah. you went to korea yeah and so were did you when you saw Korea for what it was, because you were kind of in the middle of it, mm -hmm. uh, did you see like the people's normal lives, kind of, and like how they how that could transfer into having that kind of <laughs> attitude in in a, in a vocal? I mean, I don't necessarily think that I personally saw anything like that. There were definitely places that we walked through that you could tell that like. It might have been like a little lesser, but we were in pretty nice places, right? Like we were in like Seoul, but in a nicer part of Seoul. Right. We went to Busan. We went to Jeju. I think there was actually some places in Jeju that I thought might like be able to lend more to that. But again, like no different than here. Like if you didn't know where to look, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you wouldn't, wouldn't know, yeah, right? Yeah, you wouldn't know. And so I, I'm sure that there are pockets. I'm sure that there's an underground scene. I'm sure that there's all kinds of stuff like that, yeah. especially when you get to like the underground rap scene and stuff like that there. So like the things that we saw, like I wouldn't think that, but at the same point in time though, we also have to remember that like we look at that and when we think that way, we look at that through a very American lens, yeah. right? Because when we hear vocals like that, when we hear stuff like that, in our culture that is very much tied to a, a lived experience yes right yeah. like like that is where hip-hop music started yeah. right and that is how it started where i don't necessarily like obviously no different than other artists here have grown and hip-hop is built yeah. there hip-hop has obviously grown and built as well yeah. and there's not a huge minority population in terms of what we would consider it, right? There's a, right. It's not like there's a huge but like, some black of them, or But some people are minorities to each other. Correct. You know? Right, yeah. right, right. So I think like that attitude might just come from a different type of place, not necessarily the same way that we see it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where it, it could was come kind from of like branding a, too. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's not necessarily like a fight against the man in the same way that where like our kind of started right? right our hip hop scene started but it doesn't mean that there's not a huge backstory and history behind it that we don't know about there right. and then of course then you add in the groups and the branding and stuff like that on right. top of it yeah because like it's not abnormal we've heard this in groups where like you'll hear a group that has these flawless vocals right and then all of a sudden they'll do a hip-hop song and it's like bam attitude yeah. right and yeah. it's just like you know yeah, where'd that come from yeah it's very yeah. very much like it's not abnormal to see a group and in one song they're dressed in like very very nice bright colors and then the next one they're in like chains yeah and, you know yeah yeah cuts more about aesthetics there like like early bts they had the they're all in oh, black yeah. with the chains because the they were k yeah because they were really k hip-hop back yeah. in the day, right and it was more about aesthetics than it was about an experience yeah. and i think like 
I, I know that a lot of people didn't like it. There, there was a show called, um, God, why is it escaping me right now? American Hustle Life. And BTS, when they were very, very young, came to America, went to LA, and it was Coolio, and they had like a couple of like mentors and stuff like that. Coolio? Yeah. Was what? Yeah. Okay. Warren G was in one of the episodes. They did a video. Okay, that's they did a video acceptable. With War- yeah, they did a video with Warren G, and it was like um, the first the first episode was really really hard to watch because you have like these guys who like Jungkook's show wasn't even eighteen at that point in time. There's like one they like take them into like the hood, and then like their managers and everything get out of the car, and like two dudes jump in the car and like take off with them. And they didn't know, like yeah. it was it, like they had no idea that it was happening. And then like like they shoved them into this room, and like they thought they were being kidnapped, and like they're literally in the middle of the hood, and like right. it's really weird. But the the point of the show was it was to teach them about like the real upbringings of hip hop, right? Like right, where right. hip hop actually came from. And they they actually after the first and like episode and a half, you could tell like they had a conversation about like the it couldn't continue like that yeah, yeah. stop very kidnapping much our people it, it very much changed but it still was really cool because they did they took them to like compton they took them into like some of the old stores they, they did a bunch of uh they, they went around and like they talked to people like in those areas they went and handed out food in some of like the really impoverished areas like they did a bunch of stuff to kind of just get a better understanding right for it and you could really tell then that like hip-hop to them before that was about just music yeah. Right, because you, unless you unless you grow up somewhere like this where you see that type of poverty, like I mean, where we're from, right? Right. We literally see that on a daily basis. Yeah. Right. Like we are very very close to it, and um, if you if you've never done that, I don't I don't really think you have a good appreciation for it. So it was very cool over the six or eight episodes. I think it was eight episodes to watch them kind of grow and kind of learn learn that about yeah. that so very cool yeah okay. It's an interesting voice. Yeah. I wish that I could be the only one who get a lot of love, no hate, but all they want and I 21 and I got a lot of pride in this song. You need a chop to meet your mark again and give you. Okay. <laughs> I'm digging that, man. Yeah. <laughs> they really cleaned it up there. Yeah, this it just has such a really good feeling old school mm-hmm. style beat to it. Like man. you just kind of want to. Uh, It'd be it'd be like uh, a scene. It'd be on like a scene in Hitch. You know what I mean? Just, I'm not sorry. <laughs> yeah. It's it sounds very New York. Very like wow. Yeah. Very cool. It's very very interesting, man. That was a um, nice surprise. Yeah, man. Yeah. It it really, as we talk kind of about like early hip hop, it really did remind me a lot of the the early, uh, a lot of the early like women hip hop stars also sang a little bit, right? Yeah. You think of like uh, Queen Latifah, Mary J. Blige mm-hmm. kind of group. And like all of them though, like I, I look back and I think about it and they all kind of had that deeper raspier voice. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that that, it, it like it's like her voice was meant for this because like she kind of has the same thing here. It's like that very deep kind of yeah. raspy. It's like it's it, like rounded off in a way. Yeah, yeah, kinda, yeah. yeah. So it kind of lends to that that whole flavor, and I yeah. I just uh, really a lot like of flavor. That. Really like that.
Very interesting. It's not a very good big group. It looks like the topic only has like 30,000 subscribers to the topic, which is where this took us to. So yeah, don't know much more about them. But yeah, yeah. you guys could teach us more about them mm -hmm. in the comments below because we do love to read those comments and uh, I'd love to, to know more about what she's working on or they're working on in terms of projects. So do that. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow along with our journey. Check out our live streams, Saturdays in Central Time. You just turn to me real creepy like a doll. You just have, your, your transitions are getting so good. Are they? Yeah. Yeah, because you were like, you're like, because I could tell you were like, if we keep talking, it's going to take too long. So the thing and the thing and the thing and also like subscribe and here's the end of the video. <laughs> like it's, you're getting really good at it. You're like, it's time to stop this. I mean, we, you know, you look at the time, we look at yeah. how long people are going to watch, no, you I know, got, and yeah. I, that, and I just, I was yeah. like, wow, wow, yeah. good job. Good transition. <laughs> I ruined it. <laughs> it, nailed it. Yeah, it, we did almost nailed it. Yeah, we could have waited till the end of the video to well, talk about this, but you know that's well, okay. They get to see a little bit of behind the scenes. Yeah, inside baseball. Inside baseball. Yeah. But seriously, guys, we uh, really appreciate being uh, here with you. And uh, if you haven't already, check out our Spotify, Amble, Amazon, all of our music. You want to ruin it again? <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm yawning. Keep going. If nobody tells you that they love you today, don't forget that we love you. You're appreciated, always welcome here in this channel, and you are enough. And last but certainly not least, it was a great day to play. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.